Hey guys, what's going on? It is Talk Force TV back again with the big pre match preview. It is the first game of the season as family arrive. It is Friday night and said on Saturday, which is very unfortunate to say the least. Wished it was a Saturday afternoon instead of Friday night, but unfortunately it's due to the cricket. So obviously it is Talk Force being Millwall. It is first game of the season. It is Millwall's first game back in Championship. For a few seasons, so it's quite disappointing. To end least. We have got another home game, we have got Mill at home. It is going to be a very interesting game. Obviously, bringing you the preview right now. Um, obviously, first game of the season, I've always had a good pre season. Mill had a bit of a um, mixed pre season, as I call it. They got some good results, some not good results, but I like heavy person that every percent would actually say um, pre you can't judge the season on pre-season um, obviously some teams might have really crap pre-season and that might have a fantastic season so obviously Forest was unbeaten for pre-season um, winning three drawing one and um, Mill have been win lost win lost drew so it has been a very mixed pad for them um, Obviously Neil Hours is manager of me or obviously he will be wanting to come to his old stumping guy and actually do as well. Um obviously if I speak them last time last season in the EFL Cup fans have last fall fat winner. Um but in a way I think Neil Wires will be wanting to come in and actually get start off the season well. Obviously they have just been promoted from League One so they will have something to actually go on so it is an interesting time for both Forest and um, Millwall. Obviously Forest first popular league game under Miracles as owner of club so obviously there is quite a bit of optimism going into it. Um season tickets have pretty much risen for the roof with over sixteen thousand might be eighteen of seventeen at the minute. Um obviously well, I'm expecting a bumpy crowd in on Friday night. Last time it was 25,000, but that was this morning, and I'm expecting it to be a lot more bigger by the time Friday night does actually come around. So it will be a very interesting game to say the least. Um, like I say, more will bring up food, and obviously, it, with them, obviously, they have got a good following. Um, I think as well. With how they do set up, they do play four four two. No, I was do that fee for that, and they will actually come here and actually do a lot more. I think Neil Alves might change it about because he knows how Forest will play, so he might just tell one of them to drop and try and frustrate Forest. I think Mark Walton knows how to sort it out and actually get his playing how he wants us to play it. Um, I think going into finding out, I think the fans will be on a high. Obviously. Good pre season, I think the fans just gonna get behind the club from the start of the season. Obviously, Farah has in a uh, name of Marcus is in charge, so I think hopefully, fingers crossed, that it will be a good pre season to last up uh, season coming up. Um, I think also Millwall they will give us that test. I think what did happen with say, like you Burnley and Rona, they gave us that test that probably will be. Expecting for the new season, um, I think as well going into it, um, I think everything will be a classic Friday night. Hopefully, first won't put us through that little bit of a trauma with last season. We only did be beaten four three, um, but I think going into it, we have got a good squad. Obviously, we are expecting the signings. At uh, one more sign at least. But don't go with me to it because we might sign another player as well tomorrow in. Kieran Darlings, that will be a good sign. He will go into Swan. So thank you for watching Talk Forest TV. Please like, share, don't subscribe to the channel. And that's it. Thank you and goodbye.